In this video, we'll show you how you easily manage all the assets in your organization in TopDesk CMDB. The Asset Management module is all about flexibility to make it easier and more enjoyable for you to register and track the necessary information. You design the templates that store your information so you only see the fields and functionalities you need. Dave was given a new phone. In this video, we'll show you how you register and manage new assets in Asset Management. First, we'll navigate to the module where we have two options. Before we take a look at the asset overview shortly, let's first check out the asset designer. On the left side, you see your existing templates. You'll design templates for each asset type you want to register. And when you first start off, you'll already have 10 pre-designed templates to work with. Use these templates to get started with registering your own assets, or use them as inspiration and create your own templates. We'll create a new VoIP telephone template for Dave's new phone type. Next, we're going to add widgets to the template. Widgets are the building blocks for functionalities, and each one lets you do something else with an asset. We'll add the field set widget. This is a basic widget that lets us register information about an asset. We can reuse existing fields or create new ones directly from the widget. For the VoIP telephone, we've added the most important fields. Let's also add the assignment widget so we can assign the asset to a location or person, as well as the relationships widget because a VoIP telephone relies on a server for network access. We'll quickly reorder the widget so we see the most important information first when we open the asset card. Now we're ready to use the template to register assets in TopDesk. We'll go back to the overview. The overview shows you all your registered assets. Via new VoIP telephone, we'll register a new telephone. We'll fill in the necessary details for the telephone, such as the make and model. As this phone will replace Dave's current phone, we'll assign it to him. When you have tons of assets registered, assigning assets to a location or person helps you quickly find the assets involved in changes or calls. As the telephone relies on a server for a network, we'll link it to the server. On the asset card for the server, we'll select Link Asset in the Relationships widget and choose the Network Custom Link. Custom links are link types that we define ourselves, depending on what functionality one asset provides another. Think of a server providing network or hosting applications for other computers in your organization. Custom links help you see how assets are affected when an asset is not operational and what the extent of the disruption will be. With asset management, we easily track registered assets and assess the impact of disruptions. When we take a look at the phone we registered for Dave, we see that he's registered a call for it. Looking at Dave's phone, we see that its status is impacted. The status of the phone is determined automatically, so if any assets that are linked to the phone are impacted, the status of the phone is also updated. We'll take a look at the graphical overview of the phone. The graphical overview gives us a visual representation of the infrastructure of our assets. As we see, Dave's phone relies on a server to provide access to the network. When we take a look at the server, we see that it is also impacted. We know that once we get the server back to operational, Dave should be able to make calls again. Asset management is 100% API based. To keep the status of your assets completely up to date, connect to SCOM, SCCM, Snow, NextThink, or any other external toolings. Keeping track of your assets and finding the root cause of a disruption is no longer a hassle with flexible asset management.